everyone today i have something that might just lighten things up i have a pair of floor lamps that can be remote controlled and offer the full rgb color gamut at its full height it can be about 40 inches tall but it actually comes in a box less than half that size thank goodness but first, with the unboxing, let's take a look at what it comes with inside this box. So on the exterior, though, I want to point out that they do list the technical parameters of this device. And you can see the battery um, wattage is 6 watts, so it's relatively low. You can actually even use 5 watts. And that's really important because it doesn't come with the actual wall adapter. So if you needed to buy one or find one to use, you can actually just use your iPhone um, wall brick, for example. So first thing out of the box, you're greeted with a smaller box that contains some of the more intricate parts, including the instruction manual, the remote, as well as some plastic connectors, some proprietary charging cables, and some small connecting pieces. The remote comes with a CR2025 coin battery, but it does accept the typical CR2023 battery. Now all that's left in the box are some of the bigger components including the plastic sheep that you have to roll up to make up the, the main midsection of the lamp. You got the plastic rods that the LEDs will be sticking to in the middle and you have the base and the top of the lamp. Okay, with the unboxing out of the way, let's start with the setup process. So there's this 3M strip um, on the edge of the plastic sheets they got to remove so that you can join the two ends together to roll it up. I do want to point out that the plastic sheet um, is pretty staticky so it might cling to any hair, fur, pet fur you may have around. So I recommend that you use some anti-static spray or at least keep track of any hair or fur that might get stuck during the assembly process and make sure to remove them right away. So rolling up the actual sheet, you want to roll it up lengthwise. It originally was packaged the shorter length, so it may be a little tricky to get it to roll up properly, but there are these little holes on the edges that you have to line up. So I would recommend that you line up the middle holes first, and then eventually if you go out towards the edge, they should be easier to align versus starting on one end and then trying to align all of them consecutively that way. It's very important that you get the holes right because you do have to insert these plastic rivets to hold them in place. And then you want to make sure that's the right circumference ultimately so you can insert it into the base and also the top. There is still the 3M film over a portion of the holes, so you may want to use a sharp object like a paper clip to kind of penetrate those holes so that it makes the insertion of the rivets a little easier. Next are these plastic rods that are joined with this plastic connector. It's really easy to slip on both ends. You want to use three plastic rods per lamp so you get the full height of the lamp. Next, you want to insert that plastic rod into the center of the base. Next is unwinding the LEDs. They are attached to this little plastic wheel and they also are on a back of 3M stickies that you just need to stick on either side of the plastic rod. When I finished my installation, I did find that there was a little extra left over. You could either cut this part off or like I did, I just bent it into the inside of the plastic rod. Next is adding in the sheet. So you do see that one end of the sheet, there is one cutout that is completely open. That's the end you want to be inserting into the base. Because that part needs to line up where you have the power cable protruding out from the base. As a midway check, this is what it should look like with the sheet properly inserted into the base, the power cable properly sticking out of there, and the inner plastic rod in the center. To ensure it stays this way, go ahead and insert those plastic rivets all around the base. Now the top can also be aligned and inserted. Make sure that you go ahead and match up the plastic rod in the center. And then the holes on the outer edge should also line up. Now if you had also put in a rivet at the very top, you may have to remove it in order to properly situate the top. And you just have to reinsert it once the top is properly sitting. Just tack in the rest of the rivets to hold in the top and you're finished with the assembly of the lamp. Just do the same thing again for the second lamp. But now to actually power it on, you have to take the power cable connected to the base and you see the other end is a full size USB, which I mentioned earlier, you will need to probably plug it into the wall if you don't have a power strip that has a built in USB port. 
So you can use like your iPhone charger, a 5 watt adapter is perfectly fine. And now you can have at it with the remote control. You can change the solid light color with the standard RGB colors at the top. And then towards the middle and bottom section are some of the special features. You can also dim things down. You can speed up any kind of transitions if you have one of these special effects lights. For greater customizability, you'll want to download the app. It's available on iOS and Android. Here you can customize exactly which hue that you want. You can also adjust the brightness level pretty easily with the slider. There's also these styles, so many styles that you can choose from for the pattern and variation of the colors. And another neat feature I think is useful is the ability to schedule when you want the light to actually be on, times of day and times during the week. Now, a feature that I'm not a fan of and I think it's just a gimmick is this light responding to music feature. So there are these buttons on the actual remote, but it actually doesn't work unless you use it with the app. So like you can't even play uh, music from your phone or like any ambient music and expect the light to respond that way. You have to be in the actual app, which will contain a few presets and then your whole music library in alphabetical order. There's no way to customize it. There's no way to pick out your playlist. Very disorganized way to load your music. But it's not like you're going to actually use this feature because, for example, if I demonstrate this song right here, you can see all it does is it just randomly changes to a different color on pretty much every beat. So unless you are like want to get a seizure or something, you probably want to avoid this altogether. In the app next to it, just as bad, is the microphone. So now the light will be responding to the ambient noise in the room, but right now there's literally nothing really going on. And you can see it's already flashing like crazy because it thinks it's picking up very low frequencies. And so now I'm trying to uh, fix that by playing some actual music, some very calm, soothing music from my other phone here. And you can see the light is still spazzing out like crazy. So. Just avoid the microphone and the music feature altogether. With two lamps, you can control them both at the same time as long as they are close enough in vicinity so that both of them are able to receive the signal at the same time. You can control them independently if they are separated farther enough from each other or if you just point the remote or your phone um, at only one of them and the other one's not able to receive that signal. But overall, I think they do add a nice touch of character to your room when they're really simple and they're good very low latency controls. You can see I can change the colors and the patterns very quickly. The downsides I would say is probably the assembly time. It took me about an hour to assemble both of them. The construction is material is relatively cheap. Don't like how it, it's so static inclined. And of course that music to light feature is just awful. I'd rather they just remove it altogether if it really can't be any good. But they aren't bad for what it is. If you guys are interested in picking these up, I do have a limited time coupon codes, a couple of them in the description. So check out the description as well as the product link where you can purchase these.